Some of the claims we hear from Christians are a little bit tame. I prayed and I got better. Or I prayed and it turned my life around. I was an alcoholic, I was in the gutter, and now I'm running a big company. These are tame. Why don't they let their imaginations run wild? Well, I think maybe somebody has at last done exactly that. So on the most recent edition to the line, March 2024, somebody called in with a really quite extraordinary story. Let's have a listen to it. Um, yeah, I, 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 so I apologize, but I don't have about 10 minutes. I've been waiting for about an hour. Uh, yeah, very interesting calls and stuff. But I just wanted to, to let you know that I am a theist, uh, theist all my life. Um, about a couple of years ago, I had this uh, witness this supernatural event uh, during a trip, took a picture of it. And uh, through photos, very, very interestingly, uh, I have about 100 photos of what I uh, believe, and it's pretty clear, is the entire second coming of Christ. And so this was a supernatural event in the sky. What? Let's just quickly recap. This happened two years ago. He's got 100 photographs. He witnessed a supernatural event, and the supernatural event is the entire second coming of Christ. I described to be uh, Jacob's Ladder, uh, very clear, golden stairs, 90 degree angles, very, very clear. Around that were portals, basically very ancient doorways up in the sky. And through that, uh, you can actually see what is coming to the atmosphere, coming to Earth. And in this was the entire, and I've been studying this for a couple of years now, entire basically following the book of Revelation. Second coming of Christ, you see different stages of that. You see what's actually here now coming on Earth, what is basically the AI that's taking over Earth now. You're actually be able to see that. And then you see what is coming as far as uh, Jesus Christ coming back and then God and then uh, what's finally is, you know, considered to be the new Jerusalem uh, ship. Uh, very, very interesting stuff. Pictures of Christ what he looks like, pictures of God, what he looks like, photos, close-ups. Now, bear in mind, I want, you to, I want you to pay attention to that, bearing in mind what he says at the end of the call. He's got pictures of Christ, what Christ looks like, what God looks like. He's got a golden staircase from heaven, stay away from heaven. Um, exactly how you would expect Jesus to arrive. He's not going to just simply float down on a cloud he's going to arrive in style on a golden staircase and this man has got pictures of everything um which is remarkable and so i just wanted to, to let you guys know is it's, it's actually quite remarkable and amazing um to to be able to see this and uh, now, now that my main point is he is sounds fairly certain that he he knows what it is that he's got these hundred photographs he's been very specific about what he's seen that it, through this, it, it just added confirmation and validity that the Christian God, to me, is the correct one, and that much of what the book of Revelation shows, because I'm not a scholar, or, you know, I didn't go to seminary, uh, but I've been really studying this for several years, and much of it is like, I mean, it's exactly what the book of Revelation states. So it's, uh, it's pretty remarkable. Um, so can I just ask a couple of clarifying questions before we proceed? Sure. So yeah. first of all, uh, just to be clear, did you say you witnessed this directly yourself? Yeah, I did, yes. Was it just you or were you with others? I was with others. I, I actually took a photo picture and through, through my picture uh, was able to basically witness it. By that, are you inferring that the others did not see it, but that only you saw it through your photo? That, that's correct. That's correct. So yeah, other okay. people I, were there. I was in a group. I, I, I want, hang on. Hang well, he said he took 100 photos. Is he saying that the photo picked it up? Uh, that's a lot of photos to take, really. And he's very specific. Was he just, uh, what was he, just randomly photographing and it happened to pick this up? Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to let Derek keep going. I'm trying to understand. Other people were there. You're the only one that saw it, and you were able to take pictures of it? Yeah. So I was actually taking a picture of something else. I was with the group, but I was the only one okay. taking a picture. There were 
doing something else. That's the reason. Okay, so what you're saying... Okay, so he was taking pictures of something else and this uh, stay away from heaven, Jesus, God, etc. All appeared in the photograph, although from what I understand, he couldn't actually see anything as such. It was the photograph, that the, the camera that actually picked it up. And he took a hundred photographs and picked all this up on a hundred photos. And he had no idea when he was there that uh, any of this was going on. Thing is, this phenomenon wasn't apprehended by your own eye. It was seen by the camera and it only became clear to you after you had started taking photographs and you could see it in the photos. No, both, both. So I saw it in the sky. I couldn't tell what it was. It was in the distance. Right, now he's changing his story. Now he's saying that he could after all. First he's saying that it only manifested in the uh, photographs. And now he's saying that it's both. So in the photographs, and he could also see something in the sky, but it's kind of vague and he wasn't too sure what it was. It looked like a large structure, orange, golden orange in the sky. I wasn't sure what it was. I took a picture really of the landscape because I was on uh, a business trip, but it was, you know, kind of in a tropical area. So I took a picture and then through that, I started noticing like, really, what is this structure in the sky? Was the ship was a satellite? Yeah, but it's more than the structure because he's seen that he's seen, he said he's seen Jesus and God and he knows what they look like. And I started really zooming in, resolving it. And I couldn't believe it. It was actually staircases, two different staircases from, uh, two edges basically this long construct staircases 90 degree angle uh okay, completely stop. golden stop. i don't need i don't need to repeat where wait are a you? minute 90 degree angle so that's um that's a 90 degree angle right doesn't he mean 45 degree angle and this guy says that he works in science he's going to say that he works in science the pictures how do you know the pictures are what you think they are yeah, so I'm in possession of the pictures, and so I've been studying. Can, can the I just ask? For, uh, can I? When, when you say there was a stairs, do, do you mean like a stairs composed of clouds, or do you mean that there was like a manifestly physical stairs in the photographs that was floating in the sky, as it were? What do you mean? Yeah, no, I, it was, so it was staircases, two staircases affixed to the atmosphere, to the sky, manifestly. It was a construct, golden construct. Clouds were all surrounding the staircase. Mark, there were clouds all. Okay. Who have you shown these pictures? Who have you shown the pictures to? Only a few people, some uh, pastors, some friends of mine in science. I, I work in, in the field of science as well. <laughs> if he's shown pictures to pastors of the second coming, and these were in any way convincing, I would have thought this would have been all over the news and these pastors would be saying, at last, you atheists, we've got the evidence. Convert. Only a very few. Um, can I say that right now? Um, I don't mean this to be offensive, but I think you're full of shit because if somebody had pictures of a, an, an event like this, why on earth would these not be published everywhere and turned over to religious organizations and getting you a nobel prize and you know all the yeah also bear in mind he said this happened two years ago it's two years since he filmed the second coming since he took photographs of the second coming he's told a few people including some religious people why don't we all know about this stuff and he also has a moral responsibility because there are atheists like me who disbelieve, who don't believe in God, who are not Christians. And if Christianity is true, I'm in deep trouble. He's really got to get out there with this news. He's got a moral responsibility to do it. Even for the people who've perished in hell over the last two years, he's culpable. Because I wanted to study this and understand what it really was before. <laughs> he's had two years. He's already been very specific about what it is. He said he saw God, he saw Jesus, he knows what they look like. And it's two staircases, two golden staircases. How much more specific can you be? It sounds to me like he's all he's already studied all this. He, he knows what it is. Turn it over, for goodness sake. Disclosing? So they have not been disclosed. So revealed. Do, do, do you have some expertise that would allow you to study the photographs and understand what it is. Does anybody on the planet have any expertise? Because right now I think that you're also shit at science because I don't see how you could possibly have the expertise to investigate these pictures. And I think this is a big prank call. No, it's not a, it's not a prank call. Send me the picture. Send me a picture. 
Well, send me a picture. I'm it's it's sans.deity sans at gmail.com. Send me a picture right now. I'll put it on screen. I, I, I may do that. I've been waiting for the right. Oh, you'll do that. No, me. you'll do that. You'll send me a picture right now or I'm going to call bullshit. Well, <laughs> don't call bullshit because this is real. Uh, I'm then send me a picture. People know that send me a picture. There is. You, I, I tell you what, I'm, here you go. I'm, I'm returning you to the queue. We're going to take another theist caller. My email address is sans.deity at gmail.com. It'll, somebody will probably put it up on the screen. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't come back. I don't know whether he's going to send the pictures. I would love for him to send the pictures. We had somebody uh, several weeks ago claiming that they saw a ghost and they took a picture of a apparition or something in a hotel. Credit to that person. That person sent in the photo while the call was going on and we were able to see it. 10 out of 10 for that. But I don't think that it was a apparition. I think it was just naturalistic. Um, but there's no point calling in. I mean, I could say, oh, you know, I literally saw Jesus. He was sitting on my bed last night. We had a conversation. I saw the holes in his hands. I could make any kind, I could make any kind of um, claims that I want to make and then say, oh, and I took pictures of the holes and I took pictures of Jesus' face. But um, I want to study those photographs before I release them to make sure that I know what they really are. What's the point in calling in and making all those claims and saying you've got evidence but not prepared to actually send in the photographs. I'm inclined to think, I very rarely say there's a prank call, but I'm inclined to think that this is a prank call. Okay, let me know what you think. I really do think it's a prank call. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.